Is one of your goals to make more money in 2022? If so, then there is no better way to do that than starting a side hustle. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five side hustles to start in 2022. Every side hustle that I'm about to tell you, I've either done or I will be doing in 2022. To be specific, I do three of these five side hustles. Without furthermore, let's get into it. I can't take all the credit for this first side hustle because it was actually my wife that turned me on to it. Let me tell you, it's lucrative. If you are willing to put in the time, me and my wife both over double our money every single time we do this side hustle. This side hustle is where you go out and buy Starbucks cups and then you sell them on apps like Mercari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, or wherever you want to resell these cups. Here, let me tell you a little bit about this. If you didn't know, I certainly didn't know whenever I start this, my wife had to tell me that Starbucks comes out with seasonal cups and specialty cups. So seasonal cups like Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, etc. Now you can buy these cups, but they're not going to be as lucrative as these specialty cups that I'm about to tell you about. These specialty cups can be a wide variety of things. So the first thing that pops into my head when I think of these specialty cups is this video I'm going to link up somewhere up here. It's the pride cups that me and my wife went out and we started buying these pride cups to sell on this app like Macari. What you're going to do is you're going to find out which of these cups are getting hyped up. So you can actually find out which cups are going to be released and then call around to different Starbucks and ask if they're going to be selling this cup. Now, whenever you go and buy that cup, you can take a picture of it, put it on Macari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, whatever, and watch the money come in. On average, you're going to be spending about $20 per cup whenever you're going and buying these Starbucks cups. And you can sell between 40 and 45 dollars sometimes even more i'll get to that in just a second but it depends on the demand and what type of cup it is now like i said sometimes more my wife has a cup right now that's worth 500 dollars. i'm not kidding yes it's worth 500 dollars. if you don't believe me you can go on the macari app and you can search starbucks cups you can see sometimes these cups are selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars and on that note it makes it easy for you to do market research on what cups are selling for what amount and you can price your cups accordingly now if you're skeptical that's totally fine because I was too whenever my wife was telling me she was making money from this but if that's the case and you are skeptical just go and go and do what I did go buy one or two cups from Starbucks and sell them I was shocked at how fast people were buying these cups I put two cups up for sale and I sold them within three hours but you can't just go to any Starbucks and buy any cup. You have to know what cups are coming out with, that are getting hyped up. You need to know when they're dropping so you can be one of the first people to buy it. Again, supply and demand. If you're the first person to buy or the first person to sell, that just means you can hack up the price even more. Because it's crazy to see whenever you go on an app like Macari, you can see this certain cup that's selling for $80. And then the next, let's say, 30 minutes, it's selling for $60. Next 30 minutes, it's going to be selling for $40. And that's typically where it peaks out. $40 to $45 is where you can actually start seeing it stabilize but if you're one of the first people to buy the first person to sell it you can sell it for that eighty dollars you can four hundred percent you can four extra money rather than just doubling it again if this side hustle interests you you can go and watch that full video here in this youtube channel i'm gonna link it in the description down below if you want to go check that out next is peer-to-peer -peer lending this is where you're lending out money to other people now before you click out of this video this is another side hustle that I personally do myself. Let me show you. There are websites out there like Prosper, Upstart, etc., where you can invest in those companies and they will invest in other people where you can sign up and you can give them your money. And what they're going to do is they're going to take a pool of this money from a bunch of investors. And they're going to invest it into someone. And these are the people that are going to be needing you know, personal loans, home improvements, etc. Now I'm going to show you my current portfolio right now. Now I'm going to be looking down at my phone for just a second. My portfolio is rather small because I've been testing this side hustle for months now and I've obviously didn't want to risk a large amount. At the time of this recording, the total value of my portfolio is $396 and it's made me $60. You can see right there the interest that you receive from the money that you've invested in. Now I didn't invest this $396. I think I only invested about $330 if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly and I wish that's something that Prosper would do because that's who I'm using right now and that's the app I'm on. So again, this is rather small, but all you have to do is add zeros on top of this and you can see how substantial this could be. Now, I, I understand. One of the things that you're going to be thinking about is the risk involved with peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now, let me show you this. I'm going to go over here to my investment. You can see that I have $361 currently invested in eight notes and you have about $34 in available cash. Now, $361 isn't all the money that I put in 
in the beginning because whenever I started getting interest on this money, I started putting it back into more notes. So we're gonna go over here and click on my investments. And you can see all the different notes that I have currently. You can see that I have zero late. So that right there tells you that no one in these eight notes are currently being late on their payments. Now you can just see right here that I invested $50 in every single note. You can see the percentages that I'm getting from each note. So I'm gonna click on one of these. Let's just say the 18.98% in three years. It's a C rating. This is gonna be one of my lowest ratings. They're gonna be ready for credit score, job history, how much money they're making every single month and Prosper does do all this for you. So they're gonna be gathering this person's information. They're gonna be providing it to them. This is something very important to know if you're going to be doing peer-to-peer -peer lending is you get to pick you get to pick the individuals that you're going to be investing in. So that takes a lot of risk out of it already because you can see their credit score, you can see their job history, you, you can see if they've been delinquent on other loans. So that's one thing that takes away from the risk. So another way to minimize your risk, as you already saw in my portfolio, all I do is lend out $50 per note. Now you can do this, you know, $100, $200, $300, per note, but I'm going to minimize my risk by only investing $50 into someone that might not be paying this money back. But so far, no one has been late. No one has defaulted on their loan, but it is said in the peer-to-peer -peer lending community that between one and 2% of all your loans are going to be falling in default. So that means that the person that you lent out money to defaulted on their loan and they're not gonna pay you any money back. But on that current portfolio, I'm making about 9% on my money. So not nearly as lucrative as the reselling Starbucks cups, but let me get into the third side hustle. But before I do that, go ahead and hit that like button for me if you want more side hustles and hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell icon so you don't miss when I upload a new video just like this one talking about side hustles. So let's get into that third side hustle. Next on our list is starting a YouTube channel. Now before you click out this video, hear me out. Yes, there's a lot of work that goes into a YouTube channel. I mean a lot, but guess what? it's 100% worth it. It's going to take up a lot of time, but this is one of the side hustles that you're gonna put a lot of work up front and you're going to reap the benefits, I mean extreme benefits in the future. So you're just going to need to stick with it to see those benefits. And I'm not talking about days or months, I'm talking about years. It's going to take a lot of work. And most of the times the people that seem like they blow up overnight, didn't blow up overnight and they've been putting in the work behind the scenes year after year after year but there's so many different ways to make money with youtube there is actually youtube where they show ads on your videos there's affiliate marketing where you get paid per commission if you refer someone's product and whenever someone buys that product they're going to give you a commission for that now there's brand sponsorships where you can be like hell oh, this is you know nike shoes and Nike is going to pay you X amount for that brand sponsorship. Basically what it means is you just talk about that brand on your YouTube channel. There's speaking gigs, memberships, you can make their, your own products, you can make your own merch, you can start a coaching program. There's so many different ways that you can monetize your YouTube channel. So if you wanna know how to make your own YouTube channel, there's tons of YouTube channels talking about how to create your own YouTube channel. Some of them are like Think Media, Catherine Manning, Channel Makers, Sunny Leonard Doozy, and many, many more, I promise you. Just search it. You're gonna come up with a ton of people. Now I already touched on merch, so going into our fourth side hustle, that is going to be print on demand. Now you might think to yourself, I'm not a graphic designer, I'm not a graphic artist, that's okay because you can go over to Fiverr and you can hire a graphic artist or a graphic designer for about 20 bucks, depending on the person that you're gonna be hiring to make designs for your t-shirts, hoodies, hats, socks, whatever it is. Then all you have left to do is promote it. So that's why having a YouTube channel would escalate this because you're gonna need an audience whether you do it organically or you do it by paying for ads. This is how easy it is. You can hop on over to Shopify. You can get a free plugin or whatever print on demand service that you want and you can start creating merch. Now, this is the best part. Well, I don't wanna be dealing with returns. I don't wanna be dealing with whatever. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is create the designs on their website and then promote it because everything that happens on the back end, like the shipping, the design, actually making the clothes, all of that happens with the company itself like Teespring or whatever else print on demand service you want. So you don't have to deal with inventory, shipping, logistics, any of that. If you wanna learn more about how to create your own print on demand company, you can do a quick Google search or a YouTube search on how to do that. This is one of those side hustles that I will be doing in 2022. So if you're ready for some merch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out when I finally launch it. For our last side hustle is a side hustle called house hacking. Did you know you can live rent free or mortgage free? How much do you pay in rent or your mortgage right now? 
Now imagine all that money that you're paying towards your mortgage or your rent, you're putting that money into your savings account now. Now imagine that money going into your bank account rather than someone else's pockets. That would be quite a bit of money coming back to you, right? Here is how it works. You could buy a single family, duplex, triplex, or fourplex, now that's two units, three units, or four units. You can utilize what's known as an FHA loan. What this is going to do for you is you only have to put three and a half to five percent down on a piece of property, but it has to be a one, two, three, or four units. Anything more than that, it's considered a commercial loan and it's not going to work. Now, what you're going to do if you buy a single family home, so one unit, you're going to live at one of the rooms and you're going to rent out the rest of the rooms. And now in theory, the rest of the rooms that you're renting out are going to cover your mortgage or exceed it. So now you're living mortgage or rent free. Now, whenever you're buying a duplex, triplex, or fourplex, you're going to be living in one of the units and you're going to be renting out the rest. And the same principle applies. You're renting out more than you're paying back to the bank. Let's just say that the mortgage on this property is $1,000 every single month. Well, now you rent out these units. Let's just say you bought a duplex. You're living in one unit. You're renting out the other unit for $1,000. Well, obviously that's gonna be canceling each other out. So that $1,000 you would have normally been spending on a mortgage or rent somewhere else, you can now put that money back into your bank account. Now there is a lot more that goes into this. So if you wanna learn more about that, there's gonna be a video popping up right here that'll show you exactly how you can save $1,000 every single month by house hacking. So go check out that video. Until the next video, I'm out, see you.